today's book is a pretty awesome book. Um, sometimes I say the book's awesome and I really don't know. Uh, this is one of those times. I'm not positive that it's awesome. I just know I love the title. And they say you're never supposed to judge a book by its cover. But I did open up and read the first couple pages. And so I liked it. It's called Those Darn Squirrels. Okay. Now, Those Darn Squirrels. The reason I want to read this book is because um, when I used to live, I used to have a nice uh, house. I used to have a nice apartment before I live where I live now. And I used to, one time, squirrels are really smart, which I'm sure they're going to talk about in this book. But squirrels are like impossible to keep out. Like if any of your parents have ever had, ever had squirrels that got in the attic or something like that, it's, it's almost impossible to get rid of them. Like they always come back and they figure out ways to get in. And so anyways, I was laying on my couch one night and I heard like scratching on the ceiling. I heard like, I was like, what is that? And I kept hearing the scratching and I would always just be like, oh, whatever, it's nothing. So then finally one day I hear scratching and I see like the ceiling starts to crumble down. It's like breaking. And I'm like, what is that? And I see a little hand poke through the ceiling, like, and I saw this little squirrel hand. And I, I just, to me, it just looked like a monster hand. I just saw like, and I was like, ah! And I was like, what is that? And I was looking and then I saw two hands, like, and then I saw a squirrel just come and he poked his head down. And he was like, hey, what's going on in here? And then he poked, I was like, I screamed. And then the squirrel screamed and went, ah! and it like jumped back into the ceiling and it ran. And when it ran, I heard like a bunch of other squirrels, like, and it was like a lot. And it, it scared me. I mean, it's only a squirrel. I know you're like, oh, really? You're going to be afraid of a squirrel? Yes, I was afraid of a squirrel because it sounded like more than one of them. And they came into the house. They had their hand in the, in the ceiling going like this, and it scared me. Oh, one of my friends had a pole in his house, like a, like a, like a heating pole, right? And, and the squirrel came from the ceiling and slid down the pole. While he was in the house, he was sleeping. The squirrel was like, oh, this looks like a nice place. The squirrel came down the pipe like a firefighter. It just grabbed him. It was like, Phew! came down like, where's the fire at? And he was scared. He got a broom and he was trying to hit it. That was crazy. All right. I won't say his name because he was so afraid. I don't want to, I don't want to embarrass him. All right. So the name of today's book uh, is Those Darn Squirrels. For those of you who just rejoined us, I don't know what happened to your Wi-Fi, but I've reconnected to all of you. It's all your fault, but we're back. Okay, Those Darn Squirrels by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Salmeri. Salmeri. Salmieri. Salmieri. <laughs> if you can't pronounce something right the first time, just keep saying it over and over till you get it right. Okay, on the outskirts of town, at the edge of the forest, there was a little old house the old thing was older than the little house. The only thing older than the little house was the man who lived in it. Old man Fuquire. That's a name, right? Fuquire? Old man Fuquire was so old that when he sneezed, dust came out. He was an old grump. He hated pie. He hated puppies. The only thing he liked was birds. All summer long, the old man painted pictures of the birds that visited his backyard. There were whirly birds and bonga birds and baby birds and yabba birds. Even a rare flugel bird came by once or twice. Fuquire's paintings weren't very good, but the birds never said anything. When the air turned crisp and the leaves began to change the color, change color, the old man grew sad. He knew that soon the birds would fly south for the winter, as they did every year, and that he would be lonely. Then he had an idea. If he fed the birds, maybe they would stick around. So old man Fuquire built beautiful bird feeders and put them up all around his backyard. He filled the feeders with delicious seeds and berries and soon birds came from all over the forest just to eat in the old man's yard. But the birds weren't the only ones who like bird feeders. Not many people know this, but squirrels are the cleverest of all woodland creatures. I told you. In fact, they're fuzzy little geniuses. They can make a house out of a tree and a bed out of a bunch of leaves and a box kite out of twigs, dirt, and squirrel spit. They are also excellent at math. Winter was fast approaching and the squirrels needed to gather as much food as they could to get ready. So they decided to take some of the bird food. 
The birds were not happy. Neither was old man Fuquire. When he discovered that what had happened, he shook his old man fist and yelled, those darn squirrels! He filled up the feeders again, but this time he hung them from a clothesline. Then he went back outside, confident that the squirrels would no longer be able to get the seeds and berries. But the squirrels were determined. They devised a plan. And, the, and this time, they took all the food from the bird feeders. The birds were furious. Harf, 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 yelled a bonga bird. Those darn squirrels, yelled old man Fuchmeyer. Yum, said the squirrels. Now it was old man Fuquai's turn to devise a plan. He went to the general store to get supplies. He bought lasers and clamps. He bought wires and springs. He bought all sorts of tools and built a, ver a veritable fortress around his bird feeders. Then he refilled them very carefully. Nah, 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 snorted the flugel bird. The squirrels stayed up all night long working out their strategy. They drank cherry cola and ate salt and vinegar chips to help them stay awake. Finally, they had it, and they had the perfect plan. They put it on their, they put on their tiny helmets and prepared to launch themselves into the air, over the fence, between the lasers, and onto the bird feeders. The first squirrel misfired and hit a tree. Ah. The second squirrel went too high and landed in a bucket. The third squirrel sailed clear over the house. Ah! The birds laughed and laughed. They each had one last delicious mouthful of seeds and berries from the old man's feeders. Then they flew south for the winter, just as they did every year. The fizz, said the flugel bird. After the birds left, old man Fuquire was lonely, just as he was every year. He fixed himself some cottage cheese and pepper, his favorite snack, but he still was lonely. When he looked out the window, the squirrels could tell that he wasn't happy. Go away, shouted the old man. I don't like squirrels. The squirrels held a meeting deep inside a large tree. They decided to give the old man a present to make up for taking the seeds and berries. Now, now not many people know this, but squirrels are not only fuzzy little geniuses, they also collect just about anything they find on the ground. These squirrels had a vast stockpile of spectacular junk to choose from. But what would Fuquire like? Bottle caps? Popsicle sticks? Postage stamps? Finally, they had it. The perfect gift. The squirrels stacked all of their loose change and old man Fuqua on Fuquire's doorsteps. There were dimes and pennies. There were nickels and quarters. There were even a few tokens from Coco's Arcade. It all added up to $47.36, plus a few rounds of skee ball. Maybe you squirrels aren't so bad, Fuquire said when he found the coins, but I still like birds better. This gave the squirrels another idea. They raided their junk collection again and got to work. When old man Fuquire woke up the next morning, he was amazed to see that the birds had returned. But wait, those things weren't birds. They were squirrels in disguise. Great googly moogly, said old man Fuquire. This will make quite a painting. He ran outside and took down the lasers and the wires and the spring-loaded trapeze. He turned all the bird feeders into squirrel feeders. Then he painted till his brush ran out of bristles. The squirrels were so overjoyed, they had a party. An old man Fuquire's house. Those darn squirrels, said Fuquire. And he shook his old man fists and smiled. Pretty cool book. Those darn squirrels. I like that. Squirrels are super, super clever. And I can attest to this. I know this is true. So if you have any squirrels in your house right now, like in the attic, they're not usually in the basement. They usually like to live up high. If they're in the attic or if they're in the house at all, this is going to be tough. You almost have to move to get rid of them. Even if you chop down the tree next to the house where they can jump in the house to get in and you plug all the holes, they still figure out a way. So... Squirrels are awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right. Do you guys know what time it is right now? I'm not sure if you know. I'm not sure if you guys know. Usually when I ask you, you know what I mean when I ask you what time it is. Do you guys know what time it is right now? 
Because I think it's time for everybody to start getting up right now. It's time to get up and start shaking it out. Get up and start shaking it out. You know what it's time for. Let's do it. Hey, wait, wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. You take so long to get up. Are your legs asleep? Come on. Are you up? Are you up? Because it's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Settle down, settle down. All right. Don't settle down yet. Get back up one more time. Come on, get back up one more time. Get back up one more time. Oh, it's time for a joke, joke, joke. It's, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're going to do it more. We're going to do it more. Sit, sit, stop. Stop doing it. Ah, ah. So I've received so many funny joke videos when you guys are doing the, <laughs> you guys are doing the song. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Keep sending those. All right. Let's go. You ready for our first joke? Here's our first joke of the night. Here we go. What sound does a pumpkin make when it hits the ground? Squash. Oh! Jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. Ow. Ow. All right. The reason I said it says squash is because pumpkins are related to squash. They're in the same family, pumpkins and squash. So it says squash when it hits the ground. Okay, good. Second joke. This will make sense because we just talked about squirrels. Why did the squirrel get upset with the tree every spring? Because it kept leaving. Oh, jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes. Jokes, it's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. Boom, ow, boom, 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 ow. All right, wait. Now, those two were for me. Now let's do one. Let's do one submission. Somebody submitted a joke. Let me see if I have it here. The joke that was submitted to me is this. Are you guys ready for the joke? Here was a joke that was submitted. This joke was submitted by. All right. This joke was submitted by Miss Layla Blair. Layla Blair says, why did the computer squeak? Why did the computer squeak? Because someone stepped on its mouse. Oh! Jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. Ow. Ow. All right. That was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you for that submission, Layla. Layla disclosed it. She said, that's not, she said, it's a joke that she heard. She just passed it along. That wasn't a joke that she made up. And I like when you guys let me know that. Let me know if it's a joke you made up. I'll give you 100% credit. If it's not and you just heard it somewhere, just tell me. Because I'm not in the business of telling other people jokes that, that, and pretending it's somebody else's, you know? If you made it up, you made it up. You know what I mean? And this was awesome. Jokes, jokes, jokes. All right. So continue to like share, subscribe to this, but you know what time it is. You know what your parents want to do. Make sure you guys go to YouTube and add me on YouTube so then you can have access to these 24-7. Your parents can go to sleep and put you on to the Corey Stories YouTube page and you can just listen to all of them over and over, dance to the songs and everything, okay? Um, I want you to notice your parents right now are probably, they, they're, they want some time to themselves. Okay, they want to hang out by themselves for a little while. They're just thinking right now, like when Corey's story is done, this is over. Like you're going to bed. It's time for to get some sleep, something. Okay, that's what they want to do. They want to sit down and watch their own show for a little bit. So that's fine. So all you have to do is go to bed. You know how you go to bed? You know how you go to bed? I help you go to bed because I'm putting you to bed tonight. Na, 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 putting you to bed tonight. Na, 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 putting you to bed tonight. Na, 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 time for you to sleep, 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 sleep. Bed tonight. Na, 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 putting you to bed tonight. Na, 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 putting you to bed tonight. Na, 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 time for you to sleep, 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 sleep. 
bed tonight. Na 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 na, putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na, putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na, time for you to sleep, 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 sleep. Thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow, 7.30. Share, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff you got to do, and I will see you then. Good night. Bed tonight. Na 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 na, putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na, putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na, time for you to sleep, sleep, sleep.